Listen to me, Daryl. I don't have much time. Eli is up ahead. If you can get past the valedictorian, you can stop him and save her. You are all that stands in the way of world domination. Whoa there! How do you expect for Daryl and me to start trusting the guy who tried to take over the world? I never wanted the world. Never any of this. Says the guy who turned everyone into zombies. Eli turned you all into zombies. I tried to fix it. We had come so far. We brought humanity to the light. But something awful happened to him on that escalator. Once he returned, I couldn't see how twisted he had become. When he suggested writing the next book, I was just so happy to have my Eli back again. Uh. But the effect this new book had, as if billions of people were suddenly working with one mind, I was baffled. It felt wrong. I thought we had done something terrible. That I had lost my grip. I confronted Eli about it, so he showed me the truth. <sighs> he led me down into a lab in the basement of our office. A lab I didn't even know existed, full of people I had never met. He told me about his plans to recreate the world using some awful machine he had built. A machine that could alter reality around itself. But it needed power. And by brainwashing the entire world using our latest book, we could use their minds as batteries to reconstruct reality. It was all so insane. But, well, you've seen the classrooms. Ugh. Eli asked me to join him. I didn't, of course. I couldn't. He didn't take that very well. We fought. It ended when I pushed Eli towards the machine and into the portal that was open next to it. And just like that, he was gone. Oh. Knowing that I had contributed to the enslavement of the entire human race, it broke my heart. I destroyed the lab and released the world from its trance. I didn't anticipate it would have such awful consequences. There was nothing I could do. I went into hiding. Oh. I was a fool to think it was over. Eli came back somehow. About a year ago, I woke up to a bunch of goons in lab coats dragging me out of my bed. They drilled my skull open and put a chip inside. It controlled me, Dara. I still had free will, but it wouldn't let me act against Eli. Next thing I knew, I was principal of Waterfalls High. It was his sick joke to make me watch helplessly as he finished his plans from 20 years ago. I had one secret weapon, though. A single copy of interacting with others. As far as I know, the only copy left in existence. I kept it safe all these years. Until the day it disappeared from my office. <sighs> Once that was gone, there was nothing I could do. Not with that vice principal walking around. That ridiculous machine built to control that chip in my brain. But then you came along, and I noticed that you had my book somehow. I tried to help you, Daryl. As long as I was chipped, I couldn't help outright. The tutor's badge, the detention. I fought for as long as I can, but there's nothing more I can do. Daryl. It's all up to you now. Hey, wait, wait! You have a chip! What about the chip in my brain? I am I gonna explode? No one chipped your brain, Mr. Janitor. 
We were all very confused as to why you stayed. We thought you liked your job. Daryl, I know you can do it. Save her. Save us. Welcome everyone, my name is Nick Spiral and today I'm gonna show you the ending of Super Dero Deluxe and let's do it. You're like a beep 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 bug that just won't die, you know that. I try to be nice and let you starve to death by yourself. And how do you repay me? You come boosty back to piss me off again? You don't piss off the valedictorian, Dero. Besides, there's nothing more you can do. We wipe the slide clean on the gun's brand and we're gonna do the same to mankind just as soon as our super weapon here has finished her ascension to super honor status. I don't know what he's talking about, but damn it. It doesn't matter how many pathetic honor students and assist machines you waste, it's over there. Just like how it's about to be over for you once and for all. And once you are each from that, I will finally reveal to you who I really am. GP. Now how still because I'm... Really? Seriously? Oh, that's gross. That's disgusting. And who, we, who do we have here? The artist? What the fuck is this? And how am I supposed to get there? And what is this? This is nonsense. This is nonsense at all. Damn it. Oh. I think I need to wait. Damn it. That's so annoying. Get away from me. So annoying. better I hope uh, I can get there yes I can get there damn it get away from me it's so annoying man why am I switch with this need some help This is so annoying. Just get away from me, please. And finally, damn it, what the fuck is that? Damn it! Seriously? Really, really? Really? What the hell is that? Ah, so annoying. Finally! Some personal space and I'm falling again. Oh. A little more, and then this one Really, really. Ah, finally. Woo.
Can I shave? Can I shave? I have a bad feeling that I'm gonna die if I don't shave. Damn it, there's no safe boy. There's no safe boy, so screw it. Oh, you are next. Two fifth. Can you wear something? Finally! What are you trying to do? I'm gonna kick you in the face! Oh, your hair! Where did you go? Then I'm back in action. Where am I? Anyone around here? Oh, 
And there's the door. Daddy, what happened? You failed, princess. You failed, princess. Daryl? Daryl? Thank God you're all right. I was afraid of what I might have done to you. Don't... don't be upset about what you did to me. Whatever I was, I had to be stopped. You had no choice, Daryl, but you did it. Whatever it was that was controlling me is gone now. For the first time in my life, everything is so clear. I'm sorry I ever treated you so poorly. You were always there for me, even if I didn't want you there. That's what a friend does, I guess. They stick around. God, I didn't deserve it, but... Thank you, Daryl. Thank you for being my friend. Now, get out of here. Before my daddy murders you. <laughs> Murder you? Before I've even had a chance to meet you? With silly ideas like that, it's no wonder Princess was a failed experiment. Alas, such is life when one tries to create a human super weapon. I suppose I'll simply have to find my place for the new world order elsewhere. I am delighted that she was not a complete waste of resources, however. She did lead you to me. Oh, thank you. Daryl Whitelaw. You have made quite the splash here at Waterfalls. A true man about town, if I've ever seen one. I am so very ecstatic that I get to meet you in the flesh at last. I am Eli Bavarius. If I may be so bold, would you mind answering me where you learned such a refined social etiquette? A self-help book, perhaps? No. There's no self-help book. You know, Daryl, I've always been something of a cheerleader for self-help. There's nothing more honorable than a human taking responsibility for their flaws in their pursuit of perfection. Perfection. And from what I've heard, your skill of interacting with others is second to none. My subordinates have been raving to me of your accomplishments for weeks now. You meddled quite admirably in my classrooms, I must admit. Besting my honor guard is no small feat. Even going so far as to destroy my dear princess. Even I could not have predicted such an outcome. <laughs> of course, it was you who corrupted her so effortlessly with your outside influences. Had you not interfered with her incubation process, her ascension would have been flawless. Tell me, Daryl, I have lived thousands of years. I have experienced nearly all that a man might experience. However, there is one thing that even I could not bring myself to do. Not personally, at least. What is it like to kill your best friend? Oh, I have no friend, sorry. Yes, yes! I knew you were what they said you were! Jesus Christ. I look I am fabulous. So pleased. I knew that you had it in you. Look at my muscle. It's so beautiful. Can't believe it, man. Daryl, you have accomplished what no other has been capable of. You've achieved super deluxe. Princess may have been a failure, but you, you are what I need. You are the perfect honor student, Daryl. So brilliant, so powerful. Join me, Daryl. Together we will rewrite this pathetic world 
I shall be the battery, and you, my guardian! Of course, no. What, Daryl? No response? Do you mean to defy me? Oh, yeah. You think that because you've mastered my book and achieved super deluxe form that you can stop me? <laughs> You're forgetting, Daryl. I wrote that book. I've been super deluxe for a thousand years. Oh. I'm going to king. Join me. Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> oh, I like this. the green Not a scratch or bruise to spare. You've probably destroyed my axis, destroyed my honor guard, murdered my daughter. But face it, there is nothing you can do to stop me. Your only option is to join me, Daryl. There's no end to this battle. Daryl! Use the cleaner! The cleaner! The cleaner? Red 
that is fucking awesome, man. Oh shit! Oh kid! Now that was a uh, cleaner. Hey buddy, there you are. We've been looking on over for you. Yep, what a surprise, no pen. Listen, Dero. Dylan, Vaughn and I have been talking and well, it's not working out. Despite all of our efforts to work with you, we are not pulling your weight around here. Well, the school been destroyed for minutes now and you haven't even picked up a single textbook out of the rubble yet. Blah 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah blah I don't like this guy so I'm gonna skip it. Yes, I am fine. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment below and have a nice day. See you.